Hi fur friends, my name is Gabe, also known as Furry.jpg. This video is the first in a new series I'm starting called So You Wanna Be a Furry. This is going to cover tons of aspects of the furry fandom and you're bound to find something interesting in it. So, whether you've been in the fandom for one day or your whole life, let's dive right in. This first video is going to be all about fursonas. We're going to start by covering what a fursona is at the most basic level, but by the end of this video you're going to have one of your own. Okay, so what is a fursona anyway? The furry fandom is all about self-expression, and as one of the most accepting fandoms in existence, we encourage you to express yourself in whatever way you like. As a furry, you probably have a big interest in animals, and would love to have an original animal character of your own. Pretty much all furries are this way, and it's pretty common to see furries with 10, 20, or even over 100 original characters. A fursona is basically what you think of as your main OC. Now, how you choose your main character is completely up to you. A lot of furries create their fursona as the exact animal version of themselves. The personality and many of the physical traits are the same between the fursona and their creator. However, it doesn't have to be done this way. If you really don't like your personality, creating a fursona with opposite characteristics can actually be quite beneficial to your mental health. There are lots of furries who create their fursona to be the ideal version of themselves, which gives them a set goal to hold in mind and helps them become the best person they can be in the future. You don't have to have just one fursona either. There are lots of furries with multiple fursonas. Even I have two of them. One of them, obviously, you know already. Gabe is the first fursona I made, and he is a red fox. His personality is bright, playful, and a little mischievous. The way that I design my fursonas is to exemplify certain parts of my personality, without necessarily showing all of them. Those who know me IRL can testify I do have times where I'm just like Gabe, joking around, having a laugh, playing the occasional prank. But of course, people aren't happy all the time, and nobody is perfect. Every light casts a shadow, and every mind has a darker side. That's where my second fursona comes in. Shade is a lovely little monochrome fulf. A fulf is an original hybrid species whose name is pretty self-explanatory. She's a combination of a fox and a wolf. Shade's personality is less cheerful than Gabe's, but they aren't polar opposites. Shade has a dark sense of humor and cares for her friends deeply. In fact, she probably values the lives of those she loves more than she values her own. If you want to learn more about my fursonas and characters, I'll actually be making a video soon going more in-depth on all my fursonas, characters, and original creations. Okay, so now you know what a fursona is, but how do you make one? Where do you start? Well, the first step to making your own fursona is choosing your species. Now, you may already know what species you want. If that's the case, feel free to skip this section. If not, let me help you select a good one. Ultimately, choosing your species is up to you, but I'd spend a few days thinking really hard about what animal you match up closest with. Now, this could be how the animals are portrayed in myths and folklore. For example, foxes are usually shown as sly and cunning, whereas dogs are shown as loyal and obedient. If you're protective of your possessions and loved ones, you may want to consider having a dragon fursona. Whereas, if you'd rather stay home in the peace and quiet of your room than go out with friends, you may identify more closely with a cat. After a few days, if you still really can't decide what species you'd like to make your fursona as, there's all sorts of cool resources online. Funnily enough, figuring out what species my fursona was is one of the hardest things I've ever done. I spent weeks trying to figure it out, and I was never satisfied with anything. Eventually, I decided the best course of action was to take a quiz on it. I've linked the exact quiz I took in the description below. As you can see, it asks all sorts of questions about your personality, and uses how you would react in certain situations to determine what species best fits your thoughts and actions. Now, this is far from perfect, but this quiz told me I was supposed to be a fox, and I knew immediately that it was right. If this quiz doesn't give you a desirable result, you can also feel free to say some things about yourself and your personality in the comments below, and get feedback from myself and other members of the community on what we think your persona species should be. Once you've chosen a species for your persona, it's time to make it. Now, I'm not a professional artist within the furry fandom. Hi, I'm Gabe, and I'm recording this clip like 20 billion years after I recorded the rest of the video. But, um, as you can see here, this is the basic layers and the, the setup that I did when I colored the free line art that I found for my character, Eni Exto, who is a protogen. And there are tons of free-to-use line art online. All you have to do is search it up and read the maker's um, rules before you use the line art. So that way you, you don't create any unnecessary problems. And always credit the creator of the line art when you publish it online. But there's tons of free-to-use line art that generous furries all over the fandom have made for you to use to create your own persona. Just look up a coloring tutorial in Photoshop or GIMP or whatever you use and have fun. Ta-da! Just like that, you've created your very own fursona. So what's next? Now that you have your own fursona, it's time to dive right into the beauties of the furry fandom. Check out the next video in this series to find out all the sweet social media networks and resources that all new furries should know about, and the advantages and disadvantages to all of them. 
Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe for more. There's a little bell too, right there next to the subscribe button, and I hear if you hit it hard enough it will give you candy. Alrighty, that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching. Until next week, bye bye.